Here are four ways to fix your iPhone email if they're not working. Now, if you find that you can't check your email, maybe you're not receiving emails that you know you got, or you're trying to send out an email, but it's just not sending, I'm gonna show you how to definitely get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into a web browser here. And we're gonna type in speed test because we need to check to see if there's an issue with your internet connection. That's why you can't check or receive emails. So hit run speed test. And you're checking to see if you have a good and stable internet connection. You can see currently mine is pretty bad. So I can swipe down from the top, right? And either toggle Wi-Fi on or off, depending on if you're on cell data, you might wanna try Wi-Fi, or if you're on Wi-Fi, you can turn it off and switch over to cell data, depending on whichever one is faster, just basically find a good and stable internet connection. But if that is not fixing the issue, the next thing we'll do is head into your settings. From here, let's scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps. And then again, scroll down until you find the mail option. Tap on that. From here, you can see mail accounts. Tap on mail accounts. And then tap on the email account that you're having trouble with. From here, you can always just hit delete account and delete. Keep in mind, this doesn't remove any of the data emails in your Gmail or whatever email account you have. They'll still all be on there. And we're just going to add them right back. So hit add account and in this case, Google. And all I need to do is fill in the username and the password, and I'll use my face ID to sign in. Basically, this just re-authenticates everything. Keep in mind, if you did change the password associated with your Gmail or email account, Microsoft Outlook, whatever, then essentially this won't work correctly, so you should just delete it out and then just add it back in. Now I can make sure everything is turned on and hit save. And just like that, it's re-added that email to my app. If you find this still doesn't help, the next thing I would recommend doing is going back out of here to the very beginning and we'll tap on general here. And then from here, we'll tap on software update. Now the mail app is a built-in default iOS app. And essentially any mail app updates are built into the iOS software updates. So just update to the latest iOS operating system. You can see 18.3.1. Essentially by doing so, you'll also update the mail app if there's a bug in the mail app itself. The last thing I would recommend doing is you can just tap and hold on that app here. You can hit remove and then delete app and then just hit delete. So just delete out that specific app from your phone and then just go back to the app store and reinstall it. Again, this reinitiates everything on that specific email app. And then from there, you can go on and check your email and it should be working at that point. Again, if this helps you, hit that subscribe button down below. It really is the best way that you can say thank you. Thanks guys.